Hi, my name is Lauren Gaucher. I'm a realtor with Think Real Estate in Portland, Oregon, and I am going to talk to you about how to relocate to our awesome city from wherever it is you live. So the first step is the minute you think about relocating, uh, is really to find your, your your realtor, your realtor of your heart, really. Uh, and hi, my name's Lauren, I could be a realtor. Um, it's really, really important to establish a relationship with your realtor. It's a very, very, very intimate process. Um, and especially when you're relocating, you really need to trust the person that you choose. They're gonna be the, the boots on the ground and they're gonna give you their opinion. And if you don't trust that opinion, you need to find someone that you really do. They are a, your partner in this. So that would be the very, very first thing is find someone that you connect with in a really authentic way to that you can trust to help you move, make this big move. One of the biggest questions that my buyers from out of town uh, ask me is where do I move to? And that's a really big question because Portland has 97 neighborhoods and that's just in Portland proper. That's not even including the, uh, the suburbs. So it's a really big question. And part of my job is to basically ask you a bunch of questions, figure out what you're looking for. Like, do you want a neighborhood that's its own little thing, but a little bit apart from things? Do you wanna be in the middle of the city? Do you want something that's wooded and you know doesn't have sidewalks and feels like you're a little bit in the country? Like we have all of that here. We just have to figure out what's going to be right for you and your family. Asking a lot of really, really deep questions and digging deep into what your life is going to look like as a Portlander, that's a really important step. So once you've picked your realtor, <laughs> So once, once you've established that relationship with your realtor, then we have to make the decision of kind of the order of operations. My first suggestion would be, let's pick a weekend or three days that you're gonna fly out and you're really going to, um, we're gonna look at everything that in your price point that makes sense to you. Um, you know, look at it over here, look at something over here, look at the top end, look at the low end, really feel what, uh, what, these, what these houses in these neighborhoods actually are like, because I mean, listen, you're looking at stuff on the internet, it's very much like internet dating, like what you see in pictures isn't necessarily what is real. So that's a huge part of the process. So ideally you'd fly out, we'd do a whole marathon of looking at houses. If you found that house uh, that weekend, great. If not, then we've already established a little bit of more what you want. You um, have been able to be in the houses and maybe you're, you're, what you think you want maybe has shifted a little bit, which is really a good part of the process. Um, and then we can go and when you fly back home, we can continue to video and I can call and I can preview, I can send you videos. Um, and But we've, we've established that we kind of understand what you're looking for and I can help you a lot more with that. So let's say you didn't find your house in those whirlwind three days that you came out. What you'll do is you'll go home and you you will continue to send me houses that you're interested in. You know, I might go, oh, you know what? This is actually on a really, really busy street. Let's skip that one. Or I'll go, you know what? This looks really interesting. And then I'll go to the house and I'll tour it for you. I'll give you my opinion. I'll give you the pros and the cons. Sometimes I'll be like, it smells terrible. I'm not going inside anymore. Let's move on. Sometimes I'll be like, oh my gosh, this is actually a lot better than we thought it was. I think this is a great house for you because we've already had that rapport when you came out. Um, I really know what you want now. And then I'll be like, maybe you should write an offer. One of the big questions is how do I do this from far away? How do I do this from another state, another city? Great thing is, is technology. We have the technology for all of this. Um, you know, we we can video conference and, and really get down to some questions sometimes. There's a lot of conference calls of everybody that's involved. Um, everything is signed digitally. You can sign it on your phone. You can sign it on the computer. Um, you, in fact, everything is so digital that the only time you sign, uh, you have to do a wet signature on paper is at the very, very last. And what will happen is we'll send you a mobile notary. So you don't have to worry about that part. The only time you got to show up again is when you get keys. 
All right, so you've moved to Portland. You got your keys, you're in your new house. Now what? As your very first Portland friend, hello, I'm gonna give you a little friendly advice. When you move to Portland, become a part of the community. That's what's so great about Portland. That's why people move here. Join your Facebook by nothing group. Join a meetup group. Go to concerts in the park. Walk your dog and talk to your neighbors. It is so important in Portland. <laughs> It's so important in Portland to be part of this community. So really dive in. We have really, really amazing people here. Listen, I have moved so many states, so many cities. I know how intimidating it can be. I know it can be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be. Shoot me an email. We can talk about how much easier I can make it on you and I'll be your first friend.